Sam Bradford getting hit low by Terrell Suggs in Philly after handing off on a read option play. Pete Carroll felt it all the way across the country at Seahawks headquarters. The ref flagged Suggs for roughing the passer Saturday night. And Monday, the league's director of officiating, Dean Blandino, said Suggs should not have been penalized because it's not a foul by rule. That's precisely what Carroll wants the NFL and Blandino to clarify in time for the regular season, which begins in three weeks. Saying will be very much a part of that discussion if things continue like it's going because it's not right. We've been involved in that discussion with the league since Russell has been here. We've had the running quarterback. We really tuned into that so I'm anxious to see what comes up because it certainly is not the way I want it to go. I would think as we always hear in the preseason to over officiate. I think this is an area in particular that I'm sure we'll hear something this week. So Dean Blandino has already reiterated the notion that the quarterback is fair game until he's clearly out of the play. Obviously, Carroll is still hoping to see an amendment to that rule, having a mobile quarterback. Jerome, should QBs be fair game in the read option? Absolutely, they should be fair game. No question about it. And and, and let's go back when the triple option was, was the thing in college football. The, the reason everyone always said that it would never translate to the NFL is because the NFL could not allow for their quarterbacks to be fair game in that uh, offense. Mm-hmm. So now let's fast forward to now the read option. It's the same scenario in terms of your quarterback being fair game. You have to allow the defense to hit him because if you don't and he decides to now pull the ball out and run, now he's a ball carrier. And now as a defense, you are in a very, very difficult position because now you didn't account for him to be a runner and he is and he's taking advantage of that. So you have to treat him as a runner from the start of that play until the end of the play. So now it causes the offense to now think about, do I want to put my quarterback at risk? And now you say to yourself, Russell Wilson, if I put Russell Wilson at risk, then the backup quarterback has to be ready to come in at a moment's notice because that's the offense that you've chosen to go with. If you force the defense to now say, well, you have to delineate between whether it's a run or a pass or if he's, he's, he's faking it and taking the ball out and he's going to throw it, you can't ask the defense to do that in the, in the split second. Yep. Uh, and so Suggs should not have been fine. I mean, should not have had a flag right. on him. It should have been legal. Now, you can question why should he have gone at his legs or not. You can question that, but it should have been a legal hit. Stephen A., what do you think? Well, I agree with that. Um, I do believe that you got to question him going after the legs and whatever, but it was clearly a legal hit and he clearly should not have been penalized on the play. No argument there. As it pertains to Pete Carroll, forgive me if I was initially disgusted because I would think he'd be preoccupied with bigger issues, like making amends for the worst call in Super Bowl history by not <laughs> electing to give the ball to Marshawn Lynch. Don't get me started with that. Having said all of that, here's the reality. Thank the good Lord. Ray Lewis is nowhere in the vicinity. I don't know. He might jump through his screen and try to hurt somebody because this is a guy that laments better than anybody in football I know how much the quarterback is protected and how much the game has been taken away from defensive players. And here is Pete Carroll talking about enforcing rules and regulations or implementing rules and regulations to even more of a degree to protect the quarterbacks as if they're not protected enough already. I believe they have the right to slide, okay? That in and of itself is a significant form of protection and that should be enough. Outside of that, you're men, you're on a football field, you're trying to play this game, guys want to sit there and neutralize you and sometimes popping you silly to make you feel their presence, even if it doesn't knock you out of a game or doesn't hurt you. It may scare the hell out of you and make you tap dance in the pocket or out of it, okay? And as a result, it could lead to a lot of things that normally would work for you not working for you. That's how you got to look at it, which is what makes Pete Carroll's argument asinine. It makes no sense Mm. whatsoever. You're treating the quarterbacks like they're playing flag football. They are not. This is the NFL. Okay, I hear what both of you are saying. 
and I defended Mr. Suggs yesterday on this show. I, I don't even think it was a low, like a low blow, kind of a low hit. Yeah. He, he went sideways and just arm tackled him around the knees. I'm fine with hitting that quarterback, but I must tell both of you that two teams are getting refereed or officiated on reputation, only two teams, because those two teams over the last two years, three years, but it's two years under Chip Kelly, have run the heck out of the read option. It used to be RG3 in Washington for the one year under Shanahan, his rookie year, but they have gotten completely away from it, so they don't do it anymore. So only two teams have the college element left in their offense. That is Chip Kelly, who over two years has called the, the read option 515 times over two regular seasons, and Pete Carroll with Russell Wilson, who has called it over the last two years 280 times. Well, especially Chip, they're going to run the heck out of it. Uh, with Mark Sanchez, as I keep pointing out to Stephen A., at Jerry World on Thanksgiving evening against my Dallas Cowboys, Mark Sanchez was running the heck out of the, the read option and killing my Cowboys, who were not ready for it. He must have run it eight or ten times. My point to you is, this is murky territory because... If you're just in the shotgun, if you're just any other Peyton Manning quarterback, they have a big devastating run game. If you snap it to Peyton and, and he hands it in a draw action, like just it's like a basic like a shotgun draw, you know, you just stick it in the in your, your belly and let you yep. go with it. Uh -huh. Well we all know Peyton is never gonna ride and decide with you. He he's just gonna give it to you and you're gonna run with it, right? It's a handoff, and it's a called handoff, and that's what Sam Bradford was arguing on the Suggs play in question. He said that was a called handoff. There was no option to it. I was just handing the ball off. We don't know that. We, we See, you, if it's Chip Kelly, you don't know. And you say, Sam Bradford's not mobile. Want to bet? Want to bet that this year Sam Bradford will occasionally pull it back and run to the left for five yards? Because he can run a little bit. He's not completely immobile and slide after five yards because that, that hurts the defense psychologically if you just take it just to keep them honest, okay? So, but it, it, all the other teams get away with it. Nobody goes to hit Peyton Manning if he hands off to Jerome Bettis, you know, right? Yep. Okay, so, so my point is these two teams are getting, you could say, penalized. They're getting refereed differently because of their reputations for running this play, right? Yeah, they are. Okay. But the, the, you have to ask, how does the referee... How does he know if it's read option? He, he only knows on, it on reputation. Based on your history. Yes. Then on, on history. Based on only your history. history. Understandable. Yes. So if you don't want to be refereed yes. that way, take the take the, the Don't ever do it. Don't ever let the quarterback keep the, the ball. Situation. Don't ever. And after a while, right. they'll say, "Oh, you're not a read option." Absolutely. If, yeah. if you are, if you're playing with Sam Bradford, expect right. for him to get hit. He, you he, have to. Expect I, that. I would too, and I'm Absolutely. fine with that yeah. because his yeah. offense, about half of it, is is that read option. So. I'm, I'm going to hit him, and I'm going to get away with hitting him because Absolutely. the referee expects him to, every once in a while, keep the football. And so Chip Kelly has a very serious concern because now he he's got a quarterback who hasn't been healthy his entire career, and now you're going to ask him to run the read option or a, some form got of for? the read option. That's a, that's, a, that's a big problem. You think you think that Chip Kelly got him to run the read option? Well, they, they, they know they believe that, you know, he's a considerably better thrower and much more efficient in their brand of offense than Nick Foles. Okay. All and right. they knew that that came along with it. And Nick Foles is getting paid 600 plus thousand at the time. And Sam Bradford is making 13 million. And Chip Kelly still made the move. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, okay. All right, yeah. but but my point to you is, and I told Stephen A. this yesterday, yeah. Sam Bradford was an all-state high school basketball player, so he, he's never been asked to run, and so people say he's immobile, but he, he'll occasionally keep it and try to slide, and yet if, if the defensive end is crashing and is assigned, like John Harbaugh said yesterday, I coach Suggs to go hit him. Because that's the way we do this against the read option teams. And it started with John versus Jim Harbaugh going all the way back to their Super Bowl. Right. When John Harbaugh is saying, I'm going to hit Kaepernick every time. Mm -hmm. Because right. that's how you guys play. So I'm going to sign my defensive end to go hit you on any kind of you know, yeah. running type yes. play. If it's not just a pure passing play. So the passers obviously pr protected to the point of overprotection. But in this case on Sam Bradford... You, you better be careful because he, he's going to have to get down. Any zone read you know, action, 
as soon as he lets go of the ball, he better get down because he's right. going to get hit. But my point has always been Sam Bradford is way more vulnerable standing in the pocket. That's where he's more vulnerable because right. he's, he's like a straw man in the pocket. I watched him at Oklahoma the whole way. He, he's not strong in the pocket, and some blindside hit is more liable to hurt him and knock him out of, of several games than, than some play where he keeps it on the that. read option and yeah. just slides. Right. <clears throat> but let me also say this. In most read option plays, the defensive end is unblocked. Yeah. When you have normal running plays like a pay, like a Peyton Manning, they're going to block That's the true. defensive end. That's so true. when he's free like that, that tells you what okay. type of play it is. Fair enough. So once he's free, he's going right for the quarterback as his rule. And that's understandable. And that it should be fine. It should be fair game. If you want to run the football, you're going to block that defensive end. So it should not be that type of issue where you can't determine what type of play it is. Once that guy is free, you know it's a read option because he's the guy you're reading. He, you're the guy. He's the guy you're optioning off of. That's why he's going to be free. Got it. So does the league make a change? You cannot make a change. You cannot make a change here because at that point, you're going to see more teams going to read option mm -hmm. if they know their quarterback is not going to get hit yep. because now there's no concern. The one concern about the read option is your quarterback getting hit. That's the big issue. Trump, thank you so much for being here wow. with us. We appreciate it. Much more first take after the break. Keep it here, won't you?